Okay, so now it's time to go ahead and trim all this together. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, remember, right now I have not actually trimmed out the part from around here, so I'm going to start by getting the edges I need there. That's going all the way up to there. That's perfect. Let's go look over here, make sure it's doing the same thing. Lovely. Maybe we'll change colors so it's a little easier to see what we're doing. I'm going to go get an intersection between, why not, all of the faces there with all of these faces. Oh, nice. That didn't work. So how about this face and this face? This face, this face, this face, this face. Then this back face and this face. Change intersecting curve. This one here, here, there, there, and there. Okay, so now what we got to do is sew these curves all together. And we're going to use them to trim with, basically. We've got a 2,000 scabs somewhere. Let's go see if we can find out where. And the gap is right back here. Okay, I'm not going to worry too much about that gap because I think we can just absorb that. Let's just go take a peek at the geometry real quick, make sure nothing crazy is going on. Ah, and it seems that the draft pulled the surface apart. So maybe it's best to do this after we've sewn it all together. So I'm just going to go really quickly extract the draft on edge. We'll come back and add the draft afterwards. <clears throat> or if you want to maintain planar draft, you don't care about that edge. What we could probably have done is add just a normal draft this way. 15 degrees on that face from this plane. Of course, we have to still go that way. Okay? And then that won't rip apart the edges. But anyway, we'll say this is good. So, let's go ahead and sew those curves together. Maybe what we should do first is just sew them in sections. So take this, 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 this. Sorry, I want to get rid of this function. That's one curve, that's one curve. So we'll start by trimming this up this way. I'm going to take all of this. Good. And now what I can do is I can say let's take and trim by, uh, by imprinting curve. I want to trim this, this face, with this curve, getting rid of what's below it. This, this face, this curve, what's below it. Again, this, that face, that curve, what's below it. Okay? Now, this way we know we have the good trimming done. I'm going to go copy those edges again, just as an edge path curve this time, so that I can use them in my next trimming. And we'll sew these two sections together. Here we've got a 3 tenths gap somewhere. I'm not going to worry about a 3 tenths gap. Instead, I'm going to go up here and just give it a half thou tolerance so it becomes closed. And now we can try trimming by those curves. So trim this. We want to trim this face. This one, this one, this one, and this one. I believe that's it. Nope, we need to get over here too. By this curve, getting rid of what's inside. Okay. And then like that, we're basically done. We just want to sew them together. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to sew this and this. Say OK. Copy boundary edges. That looks perfect. And in the next video, we'll go and test it in a split.